Sean Locke, who is best remembered for his regular appearances on 8 out of 10 Cats, died in 2021 prompting an outpouring of tributes from his showbiz pals. The British comedian is survived by his wife and their three children who will inherit his estate which was to be held in trust. A comedy panel show favorite, Sean was a team captain on the series 8 out of 10 Cats, hosted by Jimmy Carr. He also appeared on Chi, The Last Leg, Have I Got News For You, and The Big Fat Quiz of the Year. Tributes poured in from the world of comedy including close friend Bill Bailey, Kevin Bridges, Ricky Gervais and Stephen Fry at the time of his death. According to reports, probate records revealed the value of Sean's estate which will be handed to his family. Sean said his wife Anushka and the couple's two daughters and son should inherit the estate, which was to be held in a trust. The assets are said to have a net value of £4,084,911, which were to be handed to his family, reports Mail Online. Sean rose to fame after appearing on the comedy circuit after he initially worked on building sites in the 1980s. Early in his TV career, Sean appeared on the 1993 series Newman and Badil in Pieces, alongside fellow comics Rob Newman and David Badil. He was named Best Live Comic at the British Comedy Award in 2000 and has also previously been nominated for the prestigious Perrier Comedy Award. In 2006, he presented and produced the Channel 4 series TV Heaven. Hell, in which guests would discuss their likes and dislikes in television. Guests on the show included Alan Davis, Johnny Vaughn, David Mitchell, Bill Bailey, Johnny Vegas, and Nick Hancock. Sean went on to appear as a team captain on 8 Out of 10 Cats, the comedy panel show, which included the spin-off show 8 Out of 10 Cats Does Countdown. Lorraine Kelly issues apology after health woes sparks concern latest Neil Diamond gives rare performance years after retiring due to health concert Rod Stewart's son rushed to hospital after collapsing at football game updates, announcing his death in August, agents off the curb productions, said, Sean was one of Britain's finest comedians, his boundless creativity, lightning wit and the absurdist brilliance of his work marked him out as a unique voice in British comedy. At the time, his close friend and fellow comic Bill Bailey confirmed the news, explaining that the star had first been diagnosed with lung cancer a few years ago. The diagnosis came as quite a blow due to its advanced stage but despite it all, Sean was able to continue working and spend time with his loved ones. We've tried to make the most of the last few years. We spent a lot of time together and went on trips together. And has continued to work, Bill said last year shortly after the news of his death. Has amazingly courageous and tough individual who was mentally strong throughout the whole time. I'm just grateful for the time we have had together. Sean's battle with lung cancer was not the only time he had come face to face with the disease throughout his life. Back in 1990, the star was diagnosed with skin cancer, which he attributed to overexposure to the sun while working as a builder in the early 1980s. Fortunately, he was able to make a full recovery. Sean did not go public about his second battle with cancer, 